dear students, here is a guidelines for CET chemistry for you. Now, the guidelines for CET includes given by PU board website, Karnataka CET 2016 sample papers, candidates are advised to, to practice previous year questions and a sample papers for the preparation of KCET 2016. Sample papers will help the candidates in understanding type of question asked, paper pattern and the difficulty level of KCET 2016. Now, if the candidates already have an idea about the exam paper, then it will help them solve more questions in less time with a better accuracy. In this way, KCET 2016 model papers will be helping the students in scoring uh, good marks. Out of 60 questions in KCET, 40 questions are asked from the second PUC syllabus and 20 questions from first PUC chemistry. Now, the marks distribution in KCET 2014 and 15, if you glance, you will get an idea what is the weightage of each topic, but it is not compulsory that same number of questions to be asked in the 2016. Coming to the first PUC topics, the topic number one, basic concepts of chemistry, in 2014 there are three questions asked and 2015 only one question. The second topic, structure of atom, in 2014 two questions and in 2015 only one question. The third topic, classification of elements and periodicity in properties, one question in 2014 and no question asked in 2015. The fourth one, chemical bonding and molecular structure. There are two questions asked in 2014 and again two questions in 2015. Fifth topic, states of matter, two questions in 2014 and one question in 2015. Sixth topic, thermodynamics, one question in 2014 and no questions asked in 2015 CET. Seventh topic, equilibrium, four questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. The eighth one, redox reaction, the question is not asked in both 2014 and 15. Ninth one, hydrogen, no questions asked in 14 and in 2015, there are two questions appeared from this topic. Yes block elements, the next topic, two questions in 2014 and two questions in 2015. P block elements, some of the P block elements, what you studied in the first few syllabus, one question in 2014 and three questions in 2015. Some basic principles and techniques in organic chemistry, a topic of organic chemistry, no questions asked in 2014, whereas one question asked in 2015. Hydrocarbons, two questions in 2014 and four questions in 2015. Environmental chemistry, the last chemistry of first few syllabus, the questions not asked in both 2014 and 15. So this is a glance of 2014 and 15 with respect to the first few syllabus. Coming to the second year topics, the first topic solid state, two questions in 2014 and two questions in 2015. Second topic solutions, three questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. Electrochemistry, four questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. Chemical kinetics, the fourth topic, two questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. Fifth topic surface chemistry, two questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. The general principles and processes of isolation of elements, one question in 2014 and two questions in 2015. P block elements, the little big topic, three questions in 2014 and again three questions in 2015 it is asked. D and F block elements, three questions in 2014 and one question in 2015. The next topic, coordination compounds, three questions in 2014 and again three questions in 2015. Halo and haloarenes to continue with the organic chemistry topics, two questions in 2014 and three questions in 2015. Alcohols, phenols and ethers, the number of questions in 2014 is three and in 2015 only one question. Aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid, seven questions in 2014 and five questions in 2015. The next topic amines, four questions asked in year 2014 and only one question in year 2015. Biomolecules, one question in 2014 and five questions in 2015. Polymers, one question asked in 2014, again in 2015 also only one question. Chemistry in everyday life, the last topic, 
the one question asked in 2014 whereas the question is not asked in 2015. So, this is a brief idea about the number of questions asked in KCET in the year 2015 and 2014. Now, students please note, give equal importance to all the chapters in second PU except giving a less importance to the topics like polymers and chemistry in daily life. Among the first few topics, high preference should be given to the problem oriented chapters such as uh, equilibrium, basic concepts of chemistry, atomic structure, states of matter and also the organic topics like hydrocarbons and chemical bonding and SNP block elements. Coming to the organic chemistry specifically, organic chemistry questions can be of a mix match question of a different chapters. Let us have an example here, one of the equation like C6H5COH in the presence of NH3 and heating gives a P, in the presence of NaOBr gives Q and that Q in the presence of constant H2SO4 and at a temperature of 460 Kelvin gives R and the question here is what is R? The options may be sulfonylamide, para bromo sulfonylamide, ortho bromo sulfonylic acid and sulfonylic acid. And here if you look at this question, it is a combination of different chapters and this can be solved by knowing the reaction in a different way from the different topics. Students have a look with the equation here and equation continues in this pattern finally forming sulfonylic acid and the answer for the given question R is a sulfonylic acid. So, the right answer becomes uh, option 4. With this guidelines students we wish you all the best for a KCET 2016. Thank you.